so it was just a, a change of orientation. That's what I'm going to do instead of what my habit has been. And as a result of that, then I experienced I think, extraordinary lucid dreams with the different attitude of saying, here's what this is an opportunity for. Is there some conflict, some uh, part of myself that's in the way that I'm trying to get rid of? So that this process of, of accepting increasingly developing more and more is all made essentially. And that then led to, for example, this, this situation in which the most obvious one was I uh, am in the midst of a riot in a classroom and here suppose everybody can pull up a chair and strike your neighbor to it. And riot up the front. I am in the grip of a 10 foot tall ogre. And he's got me this. And, and I have a thought that uh, this is a fairy tale figure, if I've ever seen one, a shadow figure, right? And enjoy oh, the you. world's greatest yeah, stakes in your own yeah, home, and, uh, with and family, yes, friends, anytime. And you're going to find them. The I'm the going to they need. You know, somehow make peace for them. I look at him, you know, trying to say something nice, and I feel overwhelming revulsion and she wanted to breast pump in front of me. I thought it was terrible. Not working. So I remember love. What's that? Oh, right, love. And then I look at him, and then something different happens. Words of flowing, of loving acceptance intuitively flow out of me, and the odor melts into my heart. It becomes wonderful. somehow get into your dream world, you know, like those you know, thoughts being projected by somebody else, right? But if you simply accept whatever it is, it's my world, then it's a powerful means of, of development. So that's what I, I really love to see more people experience that and to see how powerful a technique that is. And because you do it just once to see that and you see an immediate change in your attitude as you change your attitude and how you're treating the other, they change instantly. And that's what you don't see in this life that fast. You know, it's probably the same truth. There's kind of a Buddhist idea of the same, that you're seeking the welfare of all sentient beings. And as for the sentient beings, you're not, you know, I'm excited. You don't have to ask for your reality papers either. So, you know, I'm going to assume each person, each entity I encounter is a sentient being, is as worthy of love and acceptance as I am. And instead of saying, well, I'm not sure you're reading. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's an interesting set of possible experiments. And then it comes down to responsibility for your life 
is all yours in that state. Nobody else there. And every other world is an interaction. It's a, an agreement what we make with other people. But there is yours in what it is you do. So that's, I think, the challenge that we love to. First, I was like, oh, I feel like I'm forcing it. But then when I had that past life feeling, oh my God. A lot of people think that hypnosis is kind of like this Vegas act where I'm going to say a word and you're going to act like a dog yeah. or like a fool or whatever it is that I want you to. And the truth of the matter is anyone who does that is because they want to. <sighs> hypnosis really just means hyper-focus attention. So you're going to be so focused on my voice, just really following my voice so that all the distractions will melt away. Do you have any questions for me before we begin? Begin to imagine that hovering above you is a pool of loving, healing light. And with every exhale, you release, you relax, you let go. When we're looking at something, uh, the light that comes out is, is waves, just like in a swimming pool, except in three dimensions instead of the two dimensions of the pool, as they're going in all dimensions. And we have a, an eighth vintage black hole to which these things go. And if we want to get more information, we swivel this ball about so that the hole. Moscow radio is being broadcast at the present moment at the scene of somebody from Peru. Plus x-rays, cosmic rays, all these other things. It's the same kind of waves, exactly the same waves, but that all these things are going through the room at the same time, which everybody knows, but you got to stop and think about it to really get the pleasure about the complexity, the inconceivable nature of nature.
Even now, in this very room, you can see it when you look out your window or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more.